This is Ace Live, and I'm back again to give you another awesome video. But before I start, hit your boy up with a like, make it rain on your boy. That way, this video can go viral. I'm trying to get viral so I can get more subscribers, all right? So I would really appreciate it, all right? So make it rain! You, you need a travel bag. If you're planning on going anywhere out of the country or anywhere in the country, you need one of these, okay? This is an underarm storm bag. And basically they advertise it as being water resistant. Before we check how water resistant is this bag, let's go over the things that I like to put in this bag. Come on. Alright, first off, the reason why you would need a travel bag is because you want to make sure you keep all your items in one spot together, alright? You don't want to have your, your phone in one spot, your wallet in another spot. And, and it gets it can be very confusing. And when, especially when you're out of a country and you have to pay for things or you're taking pictures and you, you have a camera or something bulky, something important to you, whatever that may be, and it's all over the place. So it's important that you have a travel bag, but you want to make sure you have the right travel bag because some travel bags aren't really travel bags. They're like book bags for school or something like that, but you want something that's number one, weatherproof so your items whatever you're trying to protect are safe in there all right guys uh, another thing is you want to protect your things from getting stolen all right so one of the things you might want to do is this when you're out of the country and I have my my sister aka the queen helping your boy out so I'm watching y'all so hold this for a second the queen all right, so instead of holding your book bag here, you can do it like this depending on where you're at or you can just switch it up like this, all right? Now, I've heard of stories where you, you'll have your book bag the other way, right? You'll have your book bag the other way and someone will be talking to you while another person is breaking in your bag while you're out of the country, all right? We wanna make sure we avoid those mistakes. So, you make sure you have it here. All right, this is probably the best way of having it, All right? And if you want to look into the market, maybe this bag might be not the one. There's other bags that are like built like this, literally built this way. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> there is no zippers or anything. They have to literally go through this angle to get inside. All right, you get the point. So now let's see what's inside my bag. So first off with this bag, if you can, if you'll notice that it has some heavy stitching in there. So that's something you want to look out for to make sure you got some good stitching on there. Just, you know, you want if you're investing some money in a bag, hey, you want it to be good quality, all right? So, you know, when I went searching for a bag, that was the, one of the things I was looking for to make sure it had good quality. Now, for this particular bag, it, the, the material is strong and it's advertised as water resistant. I paid $30. If you go on the Under Arm website, that's how much it is. Uh, if you go on to the retail store, it was around 30 bucks as well. All right, now they come in bigger sizes, and the bigger sizes can be around 50 bucks. So just keep in mind something, something to think about when you're searching for a bag. All right, so first thing, let's talk about the exterior of the bag. You got the mesh right there on the sides, right, which I normally use to put water in. I do not recommend you putting anything valuable in there. What's in the middle right there? Okay, I got, I got a shirt in there and basically what I would do with the shirt is I, if I was at the beach or something and I had something that was wet, I would put that in that compartment. Whatever I had wet, I would put it in that compartment because as you can see right here, it comes off and it just, it's in the bottom. It's nice tucked in, easy to put it, right? What else I got? Okay. Subscribe to This Is Ace Live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't even tell her to do that. <laughs> but listen, guys, so basically what you, uh, I just put, everybody got different needs. So basically what I did was I put my cards there. So it's quick access for whoever uh, wants to know what's the name of my channel. I also put my SIM cards in there. All right. And, 
and my headphones. One of my many headphones. Headphones. More headphones. A waterproof. Cell phone case. Right? Cell phone into a GoPro. Make sure y'all watch that video. A mini toothbrush and a portable charger. Uh, portable chargers is very essential, so that's one thing you might want to keep inside your book bag, your travel book bag. You're taking pictures, but you need to charge some. Voila. We have chargers. More chargers. Because you never know, one might act up. You know, for you guys, depending on where you go, put your universal um, charger there. And my deodorant. Not a paid sponsorship. <laughs> I, I Listen, sometimes I'm in a rush, I forget to put it on. And I'm like, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> oh, no. So I keep this just in case I forget. All right. Let's get into the main compartment now. Tripod. A tripod. That's my broken tripod for the purposes. I'm showing you what I use. What else we got? And also, your laptop. Okay. This is my backup, but this is actually my first laptop. This is how my channel started, all right? There are some very important files on this. Still works, all right? Hmm, check that out. It still works. It actually has one of my popular, the popularest video I have on here. The 24 hour passport. It's on there. The file is on here. All right. Granted, just in case something happened on YouTube, the file is here. But guess what, guys? I'm putting it back in the bag because we are going to test the durability, the durability of this book bag by wetting it okay i'm gonna have my sister wet the bag okay <laughs> and we'll see does anything survive i really hope my laptop survives <laughs> all right i really do hope but uh if it don't uh, we're gonna i don't know <laughs> let's get this thing started Listen guys, I am not going to turn the camera off because just in case y'all think I'm playing, alright? <laughs> alright, so, alright. Go ahead, Maya, turn the water off. Alright guys. <laughs> oh no, I don't, I don't even know what the, I was going to have it, alright? Let's wait, I'm not going to turn the camera off because I want y'all to know this is actually happening real time, okay? Oh man! Open that bag up. Open this end right here. <laughs> this this compartment up first. You really drenched it, man. Okay. Dry. Well, is well, it a little, dry? It's a little a, bit. It's a little bit wet. All right. Okay. Hold on. Let me look at the front. Let's look at the front. Uh, the the printing in the front of the shirt. No no no, right. this, side, this side. This side. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's wet, but you saw how much rain fell, water fell on it. It's wet, but you saw how much water fell on it. That's crazy. All right. So yes. let's go. Look in here. Oh, there's water in there though. There is water in there. Okay. So. <laughs> Not looking too good for my laptop right now. There's water in there. 
Okay, what about my cards? They, they, how they came out? Okay, my cards are for the most part dry, but there are some ones that are wet. Can y'all see that? The SIM card is a little bit wet. The SIM card is wet? A little bit. Okay. And the headphones. Headphones are alright. Headphones durable. <laughs> alright. Let me get the cards. I'll put it in my pocket. Okay. Okay. Now let's see what else we got. All right. This is the middle pocket, and it's wet in there too. It is wet. All right. Okay. We can leave that in there. What up? What about that end? Oh, you should have seen her face. She's like, oh my gosh. So that's wet. All right. Yeah, it's super wet. 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 Okay, all of this is wet. Yeah, all my right. pocket is a little bit wet too. Wow. Guys, you see this wet inside there? Water. Okay. And you can notice it's wet, but not as wet as we would think. Wow. It's like a wa drench, guys. Drench. Okay. And now for the final. Look, it's, look at this, guys. Look. Super. I went to the beach. That's why it looks like that. You can see it? Water in there. Take a swim in there. All right, you could take a swim in there. Now check the laptop out. It's wet, but is it really wet? How wet is, do you think it is? On a scale from one to 10, maybe five. Five? Five. Five? When you look, inside. Look, look, look inside here, and you can tell this part is dry. Kind of. You feel it wet? Yeah, But it's wet. not as wet as you, kind of. All right, go ahead, let's see. Okay, there's water right here. There's no water on the keyboards. It's water on the edges. So I don't know, maybe because of it not, um, I don't know, maybe because of it not being, um, it, it was closed, it was sealed, that the water didn't seep in through here. What about the back of the laptop? Okay, there's water right here around the battery, which would be enough to kill this. Enough to kill that too. All right, so was this a failure? A failure. Okay. Shame on you, but bag. <laughs> I would I would say this, all right? Typically, you wouldn't be exposed to that much water coming unless you really had to be. So that's like hurricane water falling out, guys. So you're not going to be around hurricane water. You're going to be about uh, uh, sprinkles of water. So that's the difference. It's not going to the water's not going to be concentrated on your book bag. Then you really got a problem, okay? Before we call this experiment a bus, uh, I wanted to check out to see the definition of water resistance, which is advertised on the underarm uh, website. And I, this is what I found. Able to resist the entry of water to some degree, but not entirely. Based off of that mm -hmm. definition, did it do its job? No. To some degree. It can handle sprinkles of water, but not a whole entire like heavy rainfall. So basically, ah, ah, she said no, I'm going to say yes, to some degree, because I was expecting a whole drench, like everything to be super wet. It was wet, but not all wet. But by the, the way you were spraying the water on the bag, it was out of there. So what you guys think, was the queen right or was your boy Ace right, okay? Comment down below, all right? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and want to see more, comment below. Subscribe, homie. Subscribe, and I can give you more. Leave a like. 
and I, I review more travel products. But what for sure, you would need a travel book bag, all right? So the best in that, if you have, if you know of a better travel book bag, leave it in the description below. But before I leave, guys, I got to remind you to always stay live. See you in the next video. Yo! It still works, guys. It still works.